Okay. Good morning. Today we are privileged to have or uh, to come to the training grounds of three, uh, OG Athletics Club. This is Coach OG. This is Coach OG. Yeah. And we'll be having a short interview with him. Yeah. So stay tuned as you, the interview begins. Well, good morning, Coach. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for having me here. Uh, thank you, too. Thank you. Thank you. We, 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 are happy, we are happy to see you here this morning. Yeah. 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 Um, this, this morning, I've seen a lot of your guys, yes, although yes. they are not in their numbers, yes. but with, the, with this small number that you are having, I can see that they are putting out their best. So what's the source of motivation? Yes, you see, there has been a lot of things going on in our camp, and in fact, I have a lot of athletes. As he said, this is not a number. We are even, they are almost, they are 30. If, I, if, I, if, 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 if I'm starting to correct it, how many are we? Captain, how many are we right now, at the moment? Women. Yes. We, we are, you see, um, we are almost 30 in number the athletes, and then a lot of them are students. Some are in school. Um, some just completed writing their WASI exams, and some are also in the university. So you know the universities, they are in the house now. Yeah. So the university guys are here, and then those who just completed are also here. Uh, and today we, ha we are having only one lady here, okay. and she is a student of Kumasi Wesley Girls Senior High, Kewegehe, to be precise. Yes, yeah. yeah. so... Um, Today we are here training. Um, you know, uh, our motivation sometimes, you know, some of, most of the students, they are staying at far. They come from far places. So sometimes when we come, they, they, they find it difficult to come to training. So sometimes I have to at least give them something for their transportation so that uh, it also motivates them. I sometimes also give them training kits. I have to buy for them because if you don't buy it for them, they don't have money. So you have to do those kind of things to motivate them. Okay. So yeah. So through that, the athletes they are not also letting me down. All the time they make sure that they do their best. Yeah, they do their best. And I thank God, all our athletes are improving. Oh, that's when good. When you look at that's good. Uh, uh, competitions, that's previous good. competitions. I, I, I have realized their times are coming down, so they are improving, they are improving, and I thank God for that, I thank God. I have seen that I'm working, okay. and I'm working very hard, okay. and we'll read there, we'll read there, yes. So coach, um, you have most of your athletes being in the SHS level, yes. and currently Ghana, you don't know whether um, the Interco or the Spazonas will be starting soon. So how are you coping with this situation? Because they'll be tra they've been training since yes. no competition for them. Yes, Although yes, there yes. have been competitions in Ghana here, but for them to compete in among the, them, saying the yes, secondary yes, level, the high school level. To get, yeah, yes. it's not being introduced yes, here. So how are we it's going true. to uh, how are we coping? Yeah, um, you see, I have been also talking to their PE masters. Um, so sometimes when they, especially when they are on uh, midterms, okay. they ask them to come so that I train them. And when they are in school, because all my athletes, before my athletes will leave my camp from JHS to the senior high school level, I look for a school which is having a good PE teacher who is very good, who can let my athletes improve. Because I always looking for improvement for my athletes. So all the school that I have sent my athletes to, the coaches or the over there or the PE masters, they, they are very good. Okay. So they are also training them very well. They are preparing them very well. Okay. Because recently we talked to the uh, acting director general okay. of uh, NSA okay. at the Kumasi Sports Stadium here. Um, he couldn't give us, a, uh, he said he cannot promise us, but uh, they, they hope by December or so they will. Or they, 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 they will open the stadium. Okay. So when they open it, then they will see that whether the interco will come on. Okay. Uh, but but hopefully hopefully to me to me okay. to me I can see that uh, by all means it will come on. 
by next year it will come on okay. and we are preparing our athletes okay. and i have talked to the pe masters as well and they are also preparing them very well for that's the good that's good. yes that's good so coach how many um sprinters and okay let me let me put it there how many um sprinters do you have yeah middle distance long distance yes, yes. This. thank you for that question you see coach oj i'm somebody who, who you see i'm exceptional i see myself to be exceptional that the reason why i'm saying this is that i can train sprinters i can train jumpers and i can train long distance so when it comes to distance i'm there when it comes to jumps i'm there when it comes to sprints i'm there so i have a lot of athletes some are at, some are sprinters and the sprinters hmm. you see i have about i have about um five girls who are sprinters five girls strong ones and then i also have as for the so guys, can, can we have the, the the strong ones their names or is being yeah hidden? i have uh, one athlete like uh, Zainab Awuni, okay. she's a 100-200, a very top sprinter. She was the top sprinter after Grace Obuo okay. at TIMS. Oh, she was the next. That's good. But it's unfortunate um, Intako couldn't come on, so okay. uh, people didn't oh. see her. Oh. And the time she ran, she ran in her first year. Okay. She ran in her first year at TIMS, but after that, due to the COVID era, okay. so we couldn't have the intercourse okay. so people didn't see her okay yeah, so um at the moment as for her as for zena bauni um after writing the bc the parents talk to me that they, they they need to see her and talk to her of certain things so okay i have asked her to go to, to see the parents at western region okay yeah, she's from the western region okay. so soon she will be back okay and start training okay yeah so um um i have zena bauni as i was saying um, I also have uh, one girl who is at the Uniba. Okay. She is called Jennifer J Tenin Joto. Yes. She is also a four hundred meter runner okay. uh, and a long jumper okay. as well. Yes, she is very good. Um, I also have um, uh, Taibatu Osman. Taibatu Osman. She is also there. She just completed from KSTS. Okay. Yes. Yes. And I, I also have uh, uh, the other girls. Uh, what uh, this girl? What was the name? Sprinters, no girls. Yeah. Okay, me. Yeah, I also have one girl called Juanita. Yes, Juanita. She also completed KSTS. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then uh, I have Abba. <laughs> Here, yeah, this is interesting. I have uh, one athlete called Abba Simpson. Abba Simpson. She is a daughter of Margaret Simpson. Simpson. The Javla. Okay, the great Javla. The great Javla. Okay. The African javelin record holder. Sure. I am training her daughter. Wow, and that's her great. name is. That's great. Her name is Abba Simpson. That's great. Abba Simpson. Um, soon you will see her. Okay. So she's also one of my athletes. I also have one sprinter called uh, Celestina Boatin. Celestina Boatin at Supercast. Okay. I also have another sprinter at Supercast called um, uh, Queenstar. Queenstar. Uh, is it Queenstar? Uh, she's called Queenstar. I forgot it. <laughs> it has escaped me. The okay. same name has escaped me. She's also called Queenstar. Okay. Um, and I also have another sprinter called uh, Zainab. She's also called Zainab. By as for her, she's Zainab Osman. Okay. Something, yeah. Zainab Osman. Okay. So she is also at Olag, Our Lady of Grace. Grace. That's where Abba Simpson is. Okay. And then um, I also have another one called Ruth. Ruth is also from Olag. Okay. Olag. You see, the reason why I send them to Olag. Is uh, they are having Coach Moreno okay. of Ti Amas, the one who came Amas, from, yes, yeah. from Amas. Yeah. yeah, he is there. So I, they, that's the reason I send them there, so that they will train under him. Okay. Because I always want them to improve. Okay. Yeah. So um, these are some of the few uh, sprinters I have at the moment, okay. and I also have long distance. And then the long distance, the ladies, I have only Aisha. Okay. I have Aisha and then I also have 
one other girl called um uh she's also called zainab okay. i have about then zainab. you are fortunate to have yes many most uh, i have another zainab. Say, zainab yes yes you. yes she's also a long distance girl and as for the girls distance i don't have much okay i have a lot of the boys okay so have. coach let's come to um those who have just completed so what plans are you having for them Thank since you. they have completed the sages uh, as i'm saying as i'm talking now i have about i have about six of them who have gotten scholarship to attend the university wow wow and wow. i also have four okay that's great uh which uh they are going to the to join the security services okay uh, some are going to the prison service some are going to police service that's great. yes so okay. yeah that is it okay for those who have completed that's great okay coach i think you've uh, we've talked about our success so now let's come to the hindrance our weakness you know that in every institution or every yes. sector we ha there's you can't just do away with the weakness yes. so coach what are the things that you are having issues against yeah. <laughs> so far as athletics is concerned yes um you see one i'll mention um uh, one is monetary affairs you know at least if they don't have money it, it's a problem for them that is one so um some time ago i was looking for people to support us uh, whether they will sponsor us or something but uh, we are not getting so I, I i have taken a break on that and i'll come to that again um most of them in fact they are from a poor family some some have a poor background and then uh, through a lot of things I've been doing for them, it, it's motiv it motivates them all the time. So our weakness, that is one. Mo mo money matters. When it comes to money matters, they don't have. So it, it sometimes it discourages them. I've been encouraging them. And to, you see, sometimes to when, when the competitions are not coming, it ought to affect them. See, psychologically, sometimes you see, they will say, oh, Charlie, you have been training and there's no can. Then I tell them, no, your own is to train. When the competition comes, then you go and excel. That is all. So don't worry about competitions because at least individuals are also bringing competitions. Okay. So you will be there as we are there now. Recently, we saw some this thing from, uh, in fact, Coach Elom talked to me about it. And now they have brought it out that they are going to have some competitions at the Pajo here. Okay. Uh, which is uh, even I even I also have uh, underage, under ten, oh, under okay. yes, ten. I have. Oh, that's good. Amateur, right? Yes. Okay. They are there. They are there. So when that is why Elon called me because he know I'm having such athletes. So he called me. So um, these things are coming. We didn't know, but it has come. So sometimes your your own is to prepare yourself. Okay. When competition comes, then you go. So, you see, uh, if the competitions are not coming, it, it affects them sometimes. But okay. I always encourage them. They shouldn't look at that. Okay. You see, and then um, sometimes, yeah, that, that is the, 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 the two, this thing I will talk about. Okay. Yes. So, coach, um, to, to last, okay, this this will be the last, or might be the last. Okay. So, coach, what, are, what will you say to the general public? So, for us, the weakness and you based or you your, your your main issue about the weakness was about monetary issues yeah. that's the money matter so what will you say to the general public in case any investor can come in or come and assist all athletes or athletes as a whole in the country so what will what will be your appeal to the general public okay um i'll urge the general public um uh, you see we have a lot of companies and other individuals who love athletics. Um, we will appeal to them if they can come to our aid. OJ Athletics Club. Yeah, we are based in Kumase. You can get us at the Babayara Sports Stadium. When you come there, you see the coaches, definitely you, will know, you will get to know us. Okay. You will get us. So um, the public, we are appealing to you. You can come to our aid and support us. Okay. Recently, a certain white man came and um, he, he, he brought us some training kits. 
and I was very happy. Okay. God bless that man. Amen. He brought Amen. some products from a, a certain company which is called Run for Run. Okay. And uh, another one is uh, something something running. Okay. Yeah. So um, he is a very good man from Netherlands. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, but he he told me. He cannot sponsor me, but he has friends okay. who have shops and they are selling training kits. So you see them and they do. So um, he, have been, he has been talk, contacting us all the time. So um, the general public, you can come to AID and support OG Athletics okay. and we will be happy. That's yes. good. That's good. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for having you. Yeah, thank you too. Thank, thank you too. You. We are happy you. to see you here this morning. You are welcome, Coach. Athletics, are, you are doing a very good job for athletics. Thank you very and God much. God richly bless you. Thank you God very much. Bless you too. Bless you too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Thank you. Okay.